What's good family? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well. And today, as you just can tell by the title, I have stopped reselling. I have stopped sneaker reselling and it's been about I think uh, two or three months now I've completely stopped. I've not really entered. Last time I think I entered a raffle or for anything and that was for the Yeezy drop that happened in June or July. I can't remember when that was. And uh, yeah, since then I have not really copped anything apart from personals. And that's it. I've not, you know, cop for anything for a resale or to flip to make money. I'll be giving you five good reasons of why I've stopped reselling. Now let's get into the video. Number one reason, guys, and that will be too much. Let's just say we have dunks over here. There's like ten thousand colors out there. Yeah, there's like hundreds and thousands of different colors, and not everyone's gonna pick every color. You know, we're not always gonna go. We all have our own preferences. What we like, what we don't like. We're always going to go for our most favourite ones, the colours that are, are obviously you know, the favourites, or the colours that are not that favourite, so there's too many. The second reason of putting a pause on reselling will be the restocks and I think we all have to agree to it. Even if you're not a reseller and you're watching the video, you have to agree to it as well. It's kind of working in your favour in the fact that you're going to be now paying retail instead of paying resale, but it's also at the same time killing the whole game at the same time it's not really fun anymore it's no fun in wearing any of these trainers because hardly anyone i see saying or even talking about jordans anymore you know the fun's gone now and these restocks have really affected resellers that cost over the last year especially with the pandas which where we make like over double the money of it even three times the money depending on the, obviously the size um and who's it for but it's really affected and even the jordan 4s now are constantly being restocked and that's you know, pushing the market down and i think it's just going to be like this for some time uh, so that's another reason number three is too many resellers and when i say too many and i mean it there's a lot a lot out there and if you was a reseller 10 years ago you'll be making more money back then what you're making now I've met a reseller personally when I was reselling at the time. Uh, this was like earlier this year, actually. And uh, what he was telling me that back in the 2015, 2016 days, and when the Sean Wetherspoons, the Air Max ones, uh, Air Max 97s, came out, he was making like a K a week, one K a week, two K a week, and he had so many of those shoes back then, and they were reselling like crazy. And he said there wasn't that many resellers, so. There wasn't too much competition. Now there's competition everywhere, and it's really affecting how you have to display yourself. Unless you have built a good, strong foundation from years back, where people, where you know, you have built a good follow-up as well, Instagram page, a small business on the side, then it's okay for you. But otherwise, it's very challenging, and it's affected mainly because of there's too many resellers. So for me, I would say that's another reason I've stopped. But I don't really look at that because. I would still go resell and I was reselling at the time anyway when there was too many resellers there. I would be coming up and there were like 50 people in front of me in the line or 50 at the back and it's always been like that so I didn't really care at the time but that's for most reason, well for most people for quitting reselling it from uh, like now. Number four, let's look at the financial side of it and that will be because the market is down, you have too many pairs, are you you know able to hold on for it? For, for longer now so first you'll see you know when there used to be a launch you'll probably resell after a few weeks after or straight on the day quick flip or you'll wait for like a few weeks probably a month or two and then resell because then the market will pick up because there'll be no restock now since there's been so many restocks but the market and, and the market has gone down instead of you having to wait like a few weeks you now have to wait even longer and that really affects your financial situation so if you're very short on capital you definitely cannot afford to hold them for too long and i would say personally if you're very short on capital then rethink twice that like, do you really want to do it and is it really going to be really worth it at the end for only a small amount of profit but back then let's say two years ago if you was to hold on to a pair of shoe it will be worth it because you know that it will go up probably like two times more or you'll be going up at least 60 pounds 70 pounds more than what, what normally would go for um so really yeah guys think about that number five guys is consistency i think at the moment looking at everything looking at the market there is no consistency in terms of 
how you can make income from this unless you're already well dis uh, established if you're not well established then i would say it's better off you looking for a job that is going to bring you consistent income throughout the month and you can use that money to invest into other things in life and possibly one of these as well um, only if they're worth going for uh, if it's not consistent and you're someone who's new who's looking into reselling i'll probably say take it very cautiously in terms of how you're going to go about with the money that you have if you're low on capital and you know you know it's not going to make you any consistent income i probably should look away from it for for currently in the, the moment and only hold on to or go for pairs that you really really think that's actually going to bring you some money and you can afford to do it otherwise it's best to look for something that's going to bring you consistent income every month and you can use that to invest into other areas of your life and uh, personal development or in general investments that you have or you are looking to get into then yeah you could use that but that's it from today guys hope you all enjoyed the video today and got you know some kind of insight on how the current sneaker market is um, I think it's not a decline, I wouldn't say it's finished or anything, I would say it's more like how the stock market is, so you have your ups and downs, right now we're going through the down, it's not really helping anyone, only just got to be patient, for me it's a currently a hold, it's a pause at the moment and look at other things and I have moves on, however I'm just going to sell the remaining stock I have, Christmas is coming, uh, you know, near the end of the year, everyone's like looking for gifts. So whatever stock I have, I'm probably just gonna get rid of it at the time, or if anything nice drops, and I think it's gonna make me quick money. Probably just grab it, but other than that, it's a it's a pause at the moment. So yeah, with that said, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, and see you guys next time. Peace out. And yeah, with that said, I hope you guys will enjoy it. Please follow me on Instagram, subscribe, and uh, until next time. Have a nice day and peace out.